Hello, this is Tutorial for Noob is going to show you some basics on Adobe Image Ready. Okay, so now I'm going to start a new layer. I usually have the size about 640 on a custom size, so you can change it to whatever you want. For this, I'm going to show you a sign sign picture today, so I have it 500 by 150. That's my good signature pick size okay now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here to my um, color box I'm gonna select red and black and I'm gonna go to filter render clouds and you see that it's come up with like a cloudy sort of thing but it's red and black if you chose any other colors like blue and black and green and black it'd come up with that I usually always have black because it comes up with a Better colour if I have white, like this look. And I'll go filter, render, clouds. It doesn't look as professional. Press controller to take it back. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to filter, pixelate, and mosaic. I'm going to take it to 11. Because if you take it to any further, it'll go, it'll go really pixeled, pixeled, and it'll look really, really bad. So just take it to 11 and hit OK. I've got a filter, uh, brush strokes, scented edges. You see these little lines come up, which looks pretty cool. You can have any of these. Whatever takes your pick. That's looks like a like a digital thing. So I'm gonna have that. Okay. You can see the clouds behind it, which is bonus. Okay, so you've got this now. Now you want to add a border. So if you just Grab your marquee tool and draw a box around it and say edit stroke. And I'm not gonna have it five, that was for a previous project. I'm gonna have it three and black. I'm gonna hit OK and I've got a border now. Okay, now I'm gonna go to T, that's your text tool. I'm gonna type in a name. I'm just gonna type in T for N. Sorry, my mistake. It's T for and that's tutorial for newbies. My company. I'm gonna make it a bit bigger. Now you probably see it doesn't stand out because it's black. So it doesn't stand out very well. But that doesn't matter because what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to uh, your F, which is your blending options. So you got F blending options. Click bevel and emboss. Click outer glow and click gradient overlay. Now. I usually have my gradient over the same colour as my background because it looks really cool. See, and it blends. So that's why I have it. You can even have a stroke if you really want to, it doesn't really matter. It just has a little line around it. Okay. And put that there. I'll resize it if you like. That's uh, to resize it, it's Control and N on a mark, it's Command N, I think. I'm not too sure. So you just drag that down here. Enter. Now you find a picture you like. I'm just gonna use this Kanye West one. You can use any picture you like, it doesn't really matter. I get my pictures from planetrender.com and also I get my text from dafont.com which you can get them. You don't have to sign up for Dafont but you have to sign up for Planet Render. Okay, so I've got my Kanye West in which I like. So let's spice the Kanye West up a little, yeah? So we've got, uh, you blend in options again, click Outer Glow. You see it's got a little Outer Glow onto it. And that looks really cool. So that is my tutorial on Adobe Image Ready. I hope it helped. And uh, I'll see you later.